Hi, Kim. <laughs> Why are you on mute? You're on mute. On mute. A little Mikey thing. Yes, what you harassing me for? <laughs> <laughs> no, what I said is if all you hear noise, my kids come home. Most but mine home, mine no. I shall get all your six o'clock. I'll be born in a kimberley. It's a good thing yours old. Mine, my youngest, five. He's five today. Yes, so I see. I see. Oh, I see oh, I one picture. The only way you don't show me is the one in your belly. It's one in my belly. Exactly. I have any of those? No. <laughs> and that's my whole point. She showed me every single... No, sorry. You showed I John, show public, all. including me, from five to almost five months to barely walk in. That is not true, okay? <laughs> it's not a lie. You know. Check she status. I'm going to go delete my status. <laughs> According to Michelle Sandy, technology. Marine. Yes, who called the midday? How you looking, my Adria? So, hi, hi. Are but you, you only fast. What is wrong with you? Tell your face, let me deal with you. No. I'm looking good. Hi, Adria. Hi. 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 How's everybody? We are good. We're good. Awesome. You see how it is where we not to get in one room? We have to make our mischief online. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm a believer in mischief. <laughs> All right. <so> good. <laughs> Juanita, you get busted, eh? <laughs> hey, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle, I thought you was in Costat. <laughs> Take off your mind. mic. I'm not hearing you. Yeah. Oh, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at a peep in Maureen. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Six o'clock, you gotta be gone, eh? <laughs> you will get a taxi. Uh, ten past five. Ten past six. Come and come and see. Come and see our tutor from afar. Adria. Adria. Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm okay. And are you Maureen's daughter? Yes, I am. And how old are you? I'm, how old am I? I'm 16 years old. <laughs> <laughs> That's a I good one. To, I have to warn you, darling, forgetting your age only gets worse. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Sorry. I had a and, junior moment. And mine start peeping. Stop peeping. All the way inside. Well, you are <laughs> lovely. Thank you. <laughs> and no what more, not you. you. <laughs> <laughs> what grade are you in school, dear? Um, from five. From five? Fourth, fifth form. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not sure what grades. What grades? And, and what are you hoping from? to do when you grow up? Um, I just wanna. I don't know that. I'm Make not money. sure. Yet. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's it. That's okay. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Takes us all a lot of time to figure out what we want to do. <laughs> so no worries. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna hand you back over to my mom now. It was nice speaking with all of you. So. Very nice meeting you. Thanks, nice Simone. meeting you as well. Simon, say 10th grade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Simone. Mm -hmm. Hi, Simone. Hey, hey y'all. Hey. Let Mommy. me take you out to the table. Um, here, that, here, here, you my mic. I would let you all see me, but I'm eating. So oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Is it dumpling? That's why I'm dying. That's why I'm not letting you all It can't be crab and dumpling, Maureen. She That's why I'm not letting y'all see me eat. I don't want any beggars. That is simple. I'm sure it's KFC. And I was just about to beg. <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah, on the middle of this TV. I was watching Divorce Court, you know, it's so good. Hmm. You're well into yes. this whole thing. And, you and, can actually and, even practice with that. And Judge Judy, I love her, love her, love her. I like Judge, Judge Judy as well. <laughs> right. So who's missing? Uh, who is not? Who's not? There are only one, two, three, four, five, five of us. Ayana. I, oh, and Simone is eating. There's Simone. Six. Hi, <laughs> This is the last is Sunday. Here. This is the last Sunday Shepherd's Pie, y'all, and it's <laughs> hmm. Enjoy, enjoy. Hey, wants to say hello. That's Adria. Say hello. hi. Is that hello? Mommy? That's yes. This is mommy. Say hi. hi, mom. Hi, hello, everybody. mom. Hi, hi mommy. mommy. Hi, everybody. Aren't you lovely? <laughs> You oh, are the one responsible for the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is yes. You did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> it was lashing, as they say. <laughs> what chicken were we talking about? The, the jerk chicken. The jerk chicken. You forget. Play, Maureen forget. is disrespectful. <laughs> right in my face. I did the chicken, Maureen. <laughs> Oh, but that should not get in any, only Simone. Simone, I'll hook you up. <laughs> she just not come from Tobago. She forget where in Tobago. Don't forget, Nikita. Well, I don't know. Don't forget, Nikita. Oh, Nikita, darling, I wouldn't forget you. Nikita, you are. Hey, watch that. Watch well, that. I don't need to see me. Anyway, we're going to be working together. That is wonderful. You coming to make one work? You coming to the night. Did you say yes? Ah, you wish. No, ma'am, you're coming to that way. Thank you. Once a year for Christmas. Uh-huh. Once a We're year. We're trying to say you don't want to see us all the time? I'll see you on Skype. <laughs> well, I never... I'll Skype you girls. I'll hold it to that. <laughs> I, hope, I, hope they, I hope they allow us to keep yeah. the laptop. No. Well, huh? right. Unless they're going to repossess us next week. Well, they can't take the mask unless they want to do some serious cleaning. Then they need new foam and all of that. Hmm. I'm ready for that. Mm -mm. I'm just waiting for this to say, here is your invitation letter. I can't wait. <sighs> well, we shall see how soon it shall come. My boss told me, though, that he's not letting me go unless I get somebody to fill my space. I said I'm not paying back money for this course. So if you want exactly. to write a check... It's all well and no good. No problem. He's saving I said. He looked at me and said a laugh till he turned red, which wasn't long. So. <laughs> <laughs> you are not nice. Put this in the kitchen. Anyway. Check my bag. Yeah. We need uh, the bar on the other thing. Just now. In the, Daddy, in the manic other manicure set. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Some class has the drama. Does everybody seem to be here? Well, most of us. It says 16 participants. You're hearing me? Yes. 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 That? You're hearing me now as I'm talking to the mask. To the mask, yes. 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 Oh, ah, yes. yes. Are you hearing me? Where was? I was talking before to the headset thinking you're hearing me, but my mask but is if, what if I'm using. I was hearing you before, Michelle. I was hearing you before. But if you're plugging oh, okay. the mask... You know, yeah, I've been I've been practicing, so <laughs> I'll speak to the man. Wonderful. Take a challenge, please. Bye. 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 Um, cookies and cream. Oh, I'll have some for you. <laughs> what a friend! What a, a friend, friend indeed. <laughs> Where is Amina? Amina, show yourself. She's there. And I am on my bed, leaning on my pillow. You still want me to show myself? Yes, you know, <laughs> lady. Well. Uh, yeah. All right, let me see. Let me, just for a short time. M what's wrong with you? Why bashful? So we've been seeing you for... Right. Right. And, and, and same phone too. Oh my gosh. What did you say? 
That's what you call life in London. No, that's what you call having having a um, a session at any point wherever you are. <laughs> that is correct. That is true. Oh, Stacey and Disha, not here yet. You understand now why they want to this? Coming on, she had something to do. Who? Desha. Oh, was Stacey isn't on us yet? No, I haven't seen her. No, she isn't. Let me see who else is not here. Just Stacey and Desha, I believe. Nikita is hiding. Ayana, are you here, girl? I am not hiding, I am right here. Well, I'm not seeing you say hi then, right? But, so, look at the hands. Talk done. But fine, fine. Keisha, is she there? Nikita, how oh, you're so bashful? Bashful? Hey, hey. look, Nikita! Woo-hoo. I eat them a kiss cake too. Kiss cake? Yeah. Horrible, horrible. <laughs> I, I you know what's inside a kiss cake? Merci, no, 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 no cake from Merci, you know Merci. when you squash cockroach and the white thing? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good though, yeah. <laughs> I made my kids stop eat kiss cake and I told them that. I had a cousin who was working in a kiss and they never used to wash the pans, eh? <laughs> Merci, <laughs> Mona, where's my cake? I can't get home with cake because you're not making any for me. Nikita, no, how are you there? Hi, Hi I'm Anna. Ah, oh, she said my name correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the last day of class. No, no, she got it right last week. Exactly. <laughs> you on a roll, girl? We had a we had a um a practice session last week. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Train your dragons. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is Kisha there? And Kisha? Kisha is very quiet, but she's right. What about? She's there, what yeah. a, what about I see Kisha. Where is Miss Sandy? Sandy, dear Michelle Sandy. Yeah, she is. She's yeah. also quiet. She yeah. eating food now. She's quiet and she's invisible. She I'm right eating. here. I'm right here. Don't worry. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Here, Keisha. Okay, okay everyone. Just looking at this, yes. Yes. Are you guys ready to get started? Yes, yes we, we are. are. Fantastic. Okay, so I want to start from the beginning and move through. And just as I'm moving through, I just want to ask um, if there are any questions at any at any point uh, during the process. So you don't have to be muted. Um, you know, just speak up. If if you have a question, just say Adria and ask me the question because this is you know I'm wanting to review to make sure that you know the process even though you'll still have access to me um i think it would be a good thing to do okay so i believe that you your courts are all recording in fdr gold correct yeah. yes and so you guys have ftr player on your systems yes yes and i believe that um the way FTR works is that you have um, FTR saves in multiple what they call packets. So it's not one single um, digital audio file, but multiple ones. And so you'll probably be listening to the audio in the FTR player because we can't play those packets all together. Um, so what you'll probably do is you will start by creating a new job, of course. And, um, I noticed that I was working with Shelly Ann and, um, Juanita because they were having some problems with a real time coach and, uh, Shelly Ann sent me pictures of her transcriptionist main menu with all of the work and that is so fantastic i love to see how hard you guys are working and i'm bragging about you because (laughs) i'm very very impressed with the speeds that you have all been able to you know just so that you know when when this all started with uh the jcp and and we were talking about doing what we are we have all been doing together the thing that i promised them that you would all be able to do 
um, is that I promised them that y'all would all be able to transcribe at 180 words per minute at 80% accuracy. So I think you can all recognize that every single one of you have surpassed that goal. Very good. Thank yes. you. Thank and you. So I, I am so proud of you all. And you should be very proud of yourselves because it was not easy. No, it I realized wasn't. that. <laughs> I realized how hard you had to work. And I'm just really, really tickled with all of your progress. You know, you've really done a great job. Adrian? Yes. I just wanted to say that um, I was grateful for you pushing us to 200 to 225 speed yes, because now that I go back to speeds of 100, slow. it's, it's like it's a breeze now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, well, thank you, Naomi. I appreciate that. You know, one of the things that when I learned how to dictate myself I started at the same speeds you guys started you know I started at 100 115 and moved up slowly and one of the things that I can say now when I dictate if I accidentally pick uh, <clears throat> Asian that is a hundred words per minute I like to say that I fall asleep between words because it's <laughs> 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 and and what you'll realize as as you continue on your journey is that dragon doesn't like you to talk too slow mm -hmm. any more than it likes you to talk way too fast yeah you know i don't know if you notice that but when you when you go back yes, now realize. you'll notice that now that you've trained dragon to know you at all of these speeds it really prefers uh, a 160 to 200 words mm -hmm. per minute. Yes. yes. Now, when you get to 225, 220, 225, 230, sometimes Dragon doesn't do as good of a job. And what I, I need you all to remember is that that is not necessarily a reflection on you. That is a reflection on Dragon. If you were to ever call the people at Nuance the people that create the Dragon software, and you said to them, well, I was dictating at 210 words per minute, and Dragon was doing a horrible job. They would say to you, well, that's because Dragon doesn't work above 160 words per minute. Okay. That is oh, what man. the people at Nuance will tell you, say. that okay. they did not design it to be so fast. Right, Adria? Yes. Um, since I started using my mask, well, I decided to do some practice. I think it was Sunday or sometime. And um, with the words I was saying, Dragon wasn't writing those words. And then it wasn't picking up half of my words. So when I went to do the correction in the transcriptionist now, I was hearing myself very loud because the mask was picking up what I was saying. And... It, it were the words I was saying, but it's, it wasn't being written by Dragon. It, Dragon was writing something totally different. Yes. So, yes. Yes, and that's, that's not uncommon. That's not uncommon to see what you saw. Um, you know, the thing about Dragon is that it's going to do a pretty decent job, like I said, 160 to 200. With your headset was what you started learning with. Now, believe it or not, the headset has very different acoustics because all of our headsets are, you know, to the right or left of our, our mouth, not straight on. And the mask, the, the microphone inside it is still on the side, but it's much closer to your mouth and that's a more sensitive microphone. Okay. And that's why you're hearing it so loud. And Dragon doesn't like loud any more than it likes too quiet. It likes that middle range. Just like normal talking. 
Yeah. You know, even lower talking, I mm -hmm. find that Dragon prefers. <laughs> I have often noticed that Dragon's accuracy is poor if I am too loud, just like it's poor if I'm too, if I whisper, as opposed to just talking in a low volume. So now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just create my new job. I'm going to go ahead. <coughs> See, you're not seeing this. Um, click on OK and go back to the main menu. And then um, because you are going to be listening in the FDR Gold Player, yeah, you do not have to acquire the audio file. You simply go into Dictate. And remember that when you see this scope, low, should scope load the speech engine, we always put a check in that box and click on OK. And then we're going to go into our dictating window. Pietro? Yes? I have, um, I have dictated some work and just to practice with the mask as well, um, using FDR. And I did acquire, and uh, I also checked the little box for the speech engine, and it was able to load. It came up, but you know when you have to look where you have the audio files? When yes. I go to it, you wouldn't, you wouldn't see it normally. I, I had to click all media. Yes. So, I was able yes. to see it, and then I was able to select it and say, yes. okay, and then it loaded. Okay, and so were you actually able to load that? That was an FTR Gold file. Yes. You were wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Well, that's great. I'm glad to hear that because it's, it's much more convenient if you can acquire the audio, I think. You know, um, but – you don't have to. You can still listen to it in another player, but I like to have the audio uh, here with me personally. Um, there are a few things that I don't know if I ever told you that I want to review with you. Um, up here, I have this button says hide line numbers. So if my line numbers are on and I start dictating, let's say that I have line numbering on and I'm dictating and I'm trying to see if it's going to write my line numbers, which it does not look like it is. Oh yes, there we go. There are my line numbers and if I go over a little bit more, let's see. Yeah, it's doing line numbers. All right, so you can turn that on or off and really line numbers are just to know how far you are down on the page. So you can turn that on or off by using this button right here. Okay, have we talked much about real-time rules? Do you guys understand what they're for? No, we haven't talked about yeah, them. Okay. Good. Let's talk about that. If you click on edit and you click on real time rules, it will bring up just one folder. It's called main and, and you can see that it has a check mark in it. Now, if I click on edit phrases, that's going to show me what I might already have. I am going to delete these so I can show you how to add them. So if I wanted to add a word or phrase, let's say for instance, I was getting a Mac when I said a Mac, which the written form is asterisk a asterisk. So I would put replace a space Mac with asterisk a asterisk and I could say um, a 
Mac computer. <coughs> and that would be what we call an unless clause, meaning that anytime I say a Mac and it writes a space Mac, I want to replace it with asterisk a asterisk unless the the dictation includes a Mac computer. Then I would click on add rule and I'd be done. I'm sorry, did somebody have a question? Is this like the yes or rule? I'm sorry, would you say that again, Michelle? The yes or rule. Yes or is it the same? Yes, 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 exactly. Like for instance, Every time I was saying, yes, sir, I was getting yes, or. And so if I put in replace yes, or with yes, comma, so. sir, period. And then down here I say yes or no. Because if I dictated yes or no, I want the words yes or no not uh, I don't want my yes or to turn into yes sir right so I would click on add rule and and then and my rule is done now let's say that um, there are some that are simple like let's say I'm gonna when she said her name, it came out like this instead of e -E. I could do that. That way I could still leave Amina in the dictionary, but I would be adding Amina. And if my name was Amina, I would want it in my vocabulary so that it would always change to be the correct option. And then I would just click add rule and it's there. For instance, I get Atria instead of Adria. And so I think it deleted my Adria and add rule and I'm done. And so there are gonna be times when perhaps something keeps coming up and no matter how much you train it, it is always still coming up wrong. You may wanna consider doing a real time rule for it. And these can be very, very helpful. Right now, because you haven't really used it very much, it, it may seem like, oh, well, I don't really need that. And that could be true. But as you go on and you're doing a lot of transcription and a lot of new words and phrases are coming across your desk, you may very well want to add some. And there are, um, on my YouTube channel, on the AudioScribe YouTube channel, I do have a video for creating real-time rules. So if you need to see them, please feel free to go and watch that. Uh, it, it's very detailed. Okay. Now, another thing I'd like to tell you is, I don't know who's got the little kid in the room, but you need to mute yourself. Okay. Um, the let's say that you start doing transcription and you're doing transcription for different organizations you can create a new folder and maybe call it that type of work like um, let's say that I am going to be doing cart work so I can add a cart folder and I can start adding things to that folder. And if I want it to be in use, I would put a check 
in the box before it. Whereas if I don't want to use that folder right now, I would simply uncheck it. Okay. You can create as many folders as you like. You're not limited at all in that regard. Now, another thing that I'd like to uh, talk to you guys about is you can dictate for as long as you want. You can stop your dictation and do correction mechanism. You can go to the utterance summary and push your corrections through, and then you can turn on your mic and dictate some more. And I think the benefit of that is if you get tired of dictating, you can take a break, but you're still working on the transcript by doing correction or even just editing. So that's always a, a nice thing to have as uh, an ability to switch from doing one thing to another if you're getting bored with doing just one thing. Now, after our dictation is done and we've gone through the text and we've done all the correction we want to do, we've done all of our editing, who can tell me what we want to do next? Is it We're save speech files? Yes, save speech files, yes. No, no, that's no. not it. What, the green one? That Fine, is speech. Yeah, yeah well, certainly, certainly you can save your speech files. You can save your session anytime you want to. Yes. Anytime you want to, you can do that. Is it's it always a great idea. Sense? Yes, the utterance, yes. Edit. It's finalize. Well, because remember what... What I'm looking for is you've already done your dictation, you've done your correction, and you've done your editing. So the next thing we want to do is bring in our cover pages, right? And our certificate pages so that we can create the index. So we would just go to job and we would click on finalize. And what that would do is bring in our cover pages meaning all the way at the top. Here's the bottom, there's the certificate. And if I do control home, that'll go to the top where I've got my, no, I've got my cover page. Now I didn't fill everything in on my job screen. So not all of my information is there, but still you get the point that you've inserted your, your Q and A, uh, your cover pages on top of the, the transcript and your certificate on the bottom of the transcript. And at this point, you're ready to go and start creating your index. Now, we don't have an index here in this job. So if we don't have an index here, can we insert one? Yes. Good answer. So we hit F11. F11. Now, if you have um, function keys, you might, I know that for myself, I have to hold down the function key yep. and hit F11. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I can see my cover with index. I might, I could have just inserted that one, but I can also just insert the index itself. So I'm gonna click on my index and I'm going to click on open. And that's going to insert my index pages, but I have not yet created my index. So now in the final proof of going through my document, it, I am going to be 
listening, looking, and I can hold down the alt key and hit the numeric number one to add it to my index. Or you can click on index and add it here to a page, right? And you see how it says index was added to the index, you see? And as you would go through and do your final proof, you would be highlighting and then clicking on index and selecting the correct one. Or you could still do Alt, click on R, and the number of the index that you want. So let's say I want this, Alt, R. No, that's doing my speakers. There, I can add it that way. And I'm just going through and adding things just so that I can have something in every list. And if a speaker comes out wrong, you can always do it manually. Do Alt or speaker one. Let's see, Alt or two. I'm just going through this and just sort of making things up so that I can create my index. And let's say I've been through the whole document, I've created my index, and now I'm ready to insert the index and have everything put in its proper place. So I'm gonna click on index and create indexes. Yes, I wanna create them now. And there we go. So the only thing you should have to do is if it if it was offered or admitted or you just if it was not offered if it was admitted you would just tap it over to the admitted uh, column or tap it over to the volume if that's what you want to do. And let's say we're now all done here. Let me. Um, Put a few more of these in. Alt R A. Let's see. Alt R Q. Alt R A. Alt R one. Okay, so now let's say that we're going to pretend that our transcript is done. What do we do next? See. Hmm? We're going to present now? We do go to present. That's exactly right. And saving is always a good idea. Mm -hmm. So that was right as well. But do remember that transcription is saves for you every 30 seconds. Yes. And that's an important thing to know. So now we're going to click on job and we're going to go to present. So, hang on. Let's see. Okay, let me. Why is screen sharing stopped? And we're going to get this, this dialog, the open job with media controller. And we only do that if we want to hear the audio, which I don't because I have no audio associated with this one. 
So I'm going to click on OK. And it's going to open up. Word. As soon as it settles down, I'll share the screen with you. Okay. Share word. Okay. Why is it invalid? Try to share the word screen again. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go to view and I'm going to sort of back it off a little bit. Okay. So you can see that the, the logo is already on the top of the page for you. You can always neaten it up a little bit. There's your index. There's your proceedings. And of course, it's completely editable in Word. So you can choose to do whatever it is you'd like to do. Word works the way it normally does. And then from here, you can of course save it as a rich text format document, or you can save it as a Word document. You can also click on File and click on Print and Microsoft Word has what's called a print to PDF. Are you seeing the, the print screen, ladies? Yes, yes, yes we are. Oh, okay, good, good. I, I can never tell when sometimes I I switch and, and it stops showing. So so what what I want to show you is that if the judiciary desires you to have it submitted in a PDF format, Word comes with the ability to create a PDF. And a PDF is just a file um, type that does not allow editing. And so to protect the integrity of the transcript, a lot of people want them in PDF format these days. And so when you click on Microsoft Print to PDF, then you click on Print, it's actually going to come up and say, okay, well, where am I going to save this output as? And so I might want to save it to my documents and I might want to call it, you know, my transcript. You would of course use the name of the, the, the court case and then it will say save as type PDF document. We'll just click on save and you're done. 
and then you can click on file and print should you need to print it out on a printer then you select your printer and print and away you go so that is the process from start to finish of course that is greatly simplified right <laughs> greatly <Sorry>. simplified <laughs> As a, that's a, a, br a brief overview of it, but that is the process in a nutshell. And then as you exit Word, it'll ask you to save. You just click on save and you're done. Okay. Now, there are lots of things that you're going to learn over the, the year, over the time that you are using Transcriptionist. You are going to learn a great deal about different issues that that might come up I'll, I'll give you an example of one that of an issue that I had a customer have oh gosh uh, last week the problem was that she had done a job that was going to be 450 pages and she needed it fast and so what she did was she sent half the audio to a, a transcriptionist and had her do it and she did half great no problem and the transcriptionist is using our scopus program again no problem she sends her back the rich text format of the document and what my customer did what the reporter did was she imported what the transcriptionist had done Pardon me. Now, what she did not realize is that when you import, you actually overwrite. And so she said, oh my God, I lost all my work. I have her work, but I lost all of mine. And I said, well, don't worry about that. It's probably not gone. And I'll show you what we did. I went, I dialed into her computer and I went to view show files now i want to show you something and this is really important whether it is your initial dictation or your edited document every single time you exit the transcriptionist program let's say you exit job one When you re-enter job one, the transcriptionist application itself will make a copy of the transcript as it exists the minute you went in. Meaning that if something goes wrong during this session that you're working on, don't worry, you probably have many, many saved documents right here. And one of the things that she did not understand was, she said, well, Adria, how do I know what document is the best one? Well, how do I know what one to use? Well, what you do is you come over here and you look at the time. You see that? see the time here so you would go to the most recent one so let's say that the one I'm working on right now I I could I accidentally hit Asia? yes the video is stuck yeah we're not seeing oh okay it says it's paused. So let me do a new share. How's that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's say that this one, the one over on the left, you see the word hidden. Mm -hmm. And then you see the word no and then two yeses. Right. The yeses in red, these are hidden. This one is not hidden. So if you look at the time, 
the the most recent one I did is the one at 519. So I'm going to click on that one. And then let me move this bar out of the way. If I point to any of these icons up here, they're going to tell me what they are. So if I click on this one, hide, unhide dictation, it's going to say, okay, well, further SRE dictation and correction can't be done if you do this. Do you still want to do this? Yes, I do. There is already a dictation that is not hidden. Would you like to hide the current dictation so that the selected one can be unhidden? Yes. And now you have it. Now, if you aren't sure when everything went wrong, you can always select a file and go to this icon at the top that says open dictation file. And that's actually going to open the document in Word for you to see what it looks like. And you can say, oh, well, let me see. Um, no, that's not the right one. You close out and you point to the next one and say, well, let me see if this is the right one. So I open the RTF. I scroll down. Oh, no. This isn't the one I want anyway. Well, let me see if this one's the one I want. Yeah, that's the one I want. And so I'm going to leave it as the one that is not hidden. And if I close out of show files, I can go right back. Let me share it. I can go right back to the main menu. And I know that, in fact, I have the right one selected. So that's one thing I wanted to reiterate that anytime something odd happens, contact me, contact me before you spend hours recreating what you've already done because your time is valuable. I'm sure you realize that. And so I never want you to spend more than 15 minutes trying to figure it out on your own. You know, you can always hit, you know, function F1. Let's see. I can go about it this way. And this will open the user manual. Oh, but this is opening the speech cap manual. Did I give you all the transcriptionist manual? Do you remember? I tell you what, I'm going to post it under the transcriptionist course. That way you can download it because it, it has a lot of really great information. Thank you. That, you know, I, I'll tell you honestly, everyone. I don't expect anybody to read the manual. I'm sure you've got better things to do. However, it is a great reference for when you are stuck. It has an index and in the front, it has a table of content, contents and it has an index in the back so that you can quickly find what you're looking for. So feel free to utilize that when you're trying to figure something out. Okay, I see there's a message in chat. But I'm not seeing the chat window. Okay, let's see. Did we discuss cases? Don't remember. Okay, 
cases. Did someone call my name? Oh, the screen is not shared again. Oh, yes, you will be getting this video. Ah, uh, that's a very good question. Okay, someone has asked, Juanita has asked, if we can, if there's a way you can use an audio and have Dragon pick it up and dictate. I would love to show that to you. It's really amazing that that dragon can do this. I'm going to go ahead and create a new job. Okay, so I'm going to go and acquire a file. Can you see the select the files to acquire button um, screen, ladies? You can, okay. So I'm gonna go to place where I have some audio. And I'm gonna select, I'm gonna select a, one at 200 words per minute. So we can challenge Dragon a bit. And I'm going to click on, actually what I can do is I can click on the feather. You see the feather up here? Now it's asking me, what file do you want to use? And I'm saying, well, I want to use this 200 word per minute file and I want it to transcribe in scope and I'm going to click on okay. Retrofitting the correction of a mistake on a single machine, or would that be correcting a mistake that's inherent throughout all the machines? It could be either one. It depends on how many were manufactured. Out of all the MD50s that you made with a boom that was corkscrew shaped, would you call it a retrofit to repair that boom, or would that be just a repair, or is there no difference? I guess that's an interesting question. Can you respond to it, please? From an engineering standpoint, if you have one machine that comes out with a corkscrew boom, you're going to take a look at it to see what caused that corkscrew-shaped boom. You're going to fix a machine with a corkscrew boom and probably go in and inspect the rest of them. I understand. For quality control. And then you're probably going to go and inspect your manufacturing procedures. Where you've already determined to retrofit something, have you made any prior determination? Yes. You have determined that there is probably something wrong with the original design. Could a retrofit be something to correct a manufacturing process? Oh, yes. Do you recall the rear axle welding problems with the MZ50 machine? Yes, I do. Would that be a manufacturing problem, or would that be a design problem, or would it be both? It would be a design problem. So the welding that was done on that axle was good, but the design was less than good. Is that correct? That is exactly correct. What was the problem with that? There was just not enough metal there for the hub to hold on to. Okay, I'm going to do this again because it totally screwed it up. Is this retrofitting the correction of a mistake on a single machine, or would that be correcting a mistake that's inherent throughout all the machines? It could be either one. It depends on how many were manufactured. 
Out of all the MZ-50s that you made with a boom that was corkscrew shaped, would you call it a retrofit to repair that boom? Or would that be just a repair or is there no difference? I guess that's an interesting question. Can you respond to it, please? From an engineering standpoint, if you have one machine that comes out with a corkscrew boom, you're going to take a look at it to see what caused that corkscrew shaped boom. You're going to fix a machine with a corkscrew boom and probably go in and inspect the rest of them. I understand. For quality control. And then you're probably going to go and inspect your manufacturing procedures. Where you've already determined to retrofit something, have you made any prior determination? Yes. You have determined that there is probably something wrong with the original design. Could a retrofit be something to correct a manufacturing process? Oh, yes. Do you recall the rear axle welding problems with the MZ-50 machines? Yes, I do. Would that be a manufacturing problem, or would that be a design problem, or would it be both? It would be a design problem. So the welding that was done on that axle was good, but the design was less than good. Is that correct? That is exactly correct. What was the problem with that? There was just not enough metal there for the hub to hold on to. Okay, this is... You Terry weren't seeing anything but the main transcription window. Say that again? We were not seeing anything other than the main transcription window. Oh really? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to do a new share. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this again. Is this retrofitting the correction of a mistake on a single machine, or would that be correcting a mistake that's inherent throughout all the machines? It could be either one. It depends on how many were manufactured. Out of all the MZ-50s that you made with a boom that was corkscrew shaped, would you call it a retrofit to repair that boom, or would that be just a repair, or is there no difference? I guess that's an interesting question. Can you respond to it, please? From an engineering standpoint, if you have one machine that comes out with a corkscrew boom, you're going to take a look at it to see what caused that corkscrew-shaped boom. You're going to fix a machine with a corkscrew boom and probably go in and inspect the... Andrea? Hi, Andrea. Are you all here? <laughs> Andrea? Andrea? Is this retrofitting the correction of a mistake on a single machine, or would that be correcting a mistake that's inherent throughout all the machines? It could be either one. It depends on how many were manufactured. Out of all the MZ-50s that you made with a boom that was corkscrew shaped, would you call it a retrofit to repair that boom, or would that be just a repair, or is there no difference? I guess that's an interesting question. Can you respond to it, please? From an engineering standpoint, if you have one machine that comes out with a corkscrew boom, you're going to take a look at it to see what caused that corkscrew-shaped boom. 
you're going to fix a machine with a corkscrew boom and probably go in and inspect the rest of them. I understand, for quality control. And then you're probably going to go and inspect your manufacturing procedures. Where you've already determined to retrofit something, have you made any prior determination? Yes, you have determined that there is probably something wrong with the original design. Could a retrofit be something to correct a manufacturing process? Oh, yes. Do you recall the rear axle welding problems with the MZ50 machines? Yes, I do. Would that be a manufacturing problem, or would that be a design problem, or would it be both? It would be a design problem. So the welding that was done on that axle was good, but the design was less than good. Is that correct? That is exactly correct. What was the problem with that? There was just not enough metal there for the hub to hold on to. Okay, did you see it that time? Yes, yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I see it, Drew. Okay. <clears throat> did you notice that it really was not as good as if I would have dictated it? Yep, sometimes that's how it looks when I dictate it. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's absolutely true. But, and you can, if, you know, if the audio is very crisp and clean and loud, you certainly can have drag and translate it and then go back and listen to it and um, um, you can go back and add in your Q's and A's. You can listen to the audio and change it and make it match what the audio actually said. I don't know that this would save you time or not. I think that it, in some instances it could, but your dictation is probably going to be better. But yes, the answer to the question that Juanita asked is yes. Dragon can transcribe from other voices. It's just not always as good as with the trained voice that you've created. But Adria, this may come in handy if we have a sore truth or something that we're not able to dictate normally. Yes. Yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. And what, what I did, I'm going to close out of here and show you. Um, I guess I can just use the sound card. Um, I'm going to go to Dragon. Let me close out of Transcriptionist. I'm going to open up Dragon itself. Okay, so let me share this. Okay, so I open up to the Dragon window, which allows me to select one of my user profiles or even create a new one. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to create a new one. And I want to show you something. Do you see down here, indicate whether this is for your voice or someone else's? So I'm going to no. check this off. We haven't seen that yet. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so this is the second screen that you see. The first one was here. This is the second one. So I'm going to type in digital audio, meaning that this user profile specifically will be for when I want Dragon to make text out of the audio that I feed it. That's not my voice. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. Just make sure it says something that reminds you. So I'm going to click on next. And my region is United States, personally for me. Um, select your accent. I'm going to leave that as standard. And I'm going to click on next. Now, it is 
most likely not going to ask me to read because it's not about my voice this time. Okay, don't enable next. And finish. So now I'm going to go to let me do a new share so that I can. Okay, so I want to show you again that I'm going to go in and I'm going to set the tools options. I'm going to go and set the options for this new user. And I'm going to set it just as though it was for any of my other users because I don't want this, it to be listening has, to digital. The image has um, froze. Closed, disappeared, there. something. All right. I'm sorry, ladies, what? We are seeing it now. It wasn't showing for a moment. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Appearance. I like Dr. Top. Show extras. Anchor. Show preliminary results. So, Adria, every time you are going through this option, you will select all the same um, yes. options. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I do. Now, here, I don't it's not as important to me that it be that it translate fast it's more important that it translates accurately so i'm going to move my slide bar over to the right as you know not all the way to the end but three-fourths of of to the end um okay change my data Okay, that's it. I click on apply and okay. And now I can click on profile and oh, hang on. So I'm going to click on profile, save user profile. and then profile and exit dragon. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna return to the transcriptionist application. And I'm gonna try it again, but this time with my user that's specifically for digital audio. So I'm going to say um, Dragon translates audio. And I can acquire the file. I'll choose a 180 this time. And I'm going to click on transcribe. Is this retrofitting the correction of a mistake on a single machine? Or would that be correcting a mistake that's inherent throughout all the machines? It could be either one. It depends on how many were manufactured. 
out of all the MZ50s that you made with a boom that was corkscrew shaped, would you call it a retrofit to repair that boom, or would that be just a repair, or is there no difference? I guess that's an interesting question. Can you respond to it, please? From an engineering standpoint, if you have one machine that comes out with a corkscrew boom, you're going to... Seems to work better if I just start it off. Is this retrofitting the correction of a mistake on a single machine, or would that be correcting a mistake that's inherent throughout all the machines? It could be either one. It depends on how many were manufactured. Out of all the MZ50s that you made with a boom that was corkscrew shaped, would you call it a retrofit to repair that boom, or would that be just a repair, or is there no difference? I guess that's an interesting question. Can you respond to it, please? From an engineering standpoint, if you have one machine that comes out with a corkscrew boom, you're going to take a look at it to see what caused that corkscrew shaped boom. You're going to fix a machine with a corkscrew boom and probably go in and inspect the rest of them. I understand. For quality control. And then you're probably going to go and inspect your manufacturing procedures. Where you've already determined to retrofit something, have you made any prior determination? Yes, you have determined that there is probably something wrong with the original design. Could a retrofit be something to correct a manufacturing process? Oh, yes. Do you recall the rear axle welding problems with the MZ50 machines? Yes, I do. Would that be a manufacturing problem, or would that be a design problem, or would it be both? It would be a design problem. So the welding that was done on that axle was good, but the design was less than good. Is that correct? That is exactly correct. What was the problem with that? There was just not enough metal there for the hub to hold on to. I'm not sure why the words are blurry, ladies. Um, maybe it's the font. Did it still seem blurry when I changed the font earlier? No, it's probably the font. It was a lot bigger and clearer. Yes, yes. Most likely that is the problem. Seeing that, that's not yet true. Thank you. I don't know why uh, it was blurry or why it's blurry today. It's not blurry on my side, but I, I really don't know. Hopefully, the recording won't be blurry. But um, this is how you do the whole transcribing from a digital audio if you ever want to try it. Um, it's no harm to try it if it doesn't work out. If you see that recognition is very poor, you can always select it all, all delete it, and redictate it yourself. Have any of you started to learn some of the hotkeys? Control period being period. Yes, two just spaces. A little. Good, good. And control question mark enters a question mark. Asia, I would have to prepare and some little cue cards to keep them. Yeah, it, it once you, you know, when I, um, when I send your certificates, I'm going to send you some what we call cheat sheets, Great. which have all of the hotkeys listed on them. And it's uh, laminated so that it won't tear, the paper won't tear 
And if it gets wet, it's no big deal. So awesome. I'll make sure that you get those. That's great because I was gonna stick it in my cubicle. Yes, yes, it'll come in handy. Um, normally, what we do is Give me in a witch cubicle. You know what? <laughs> what? I want to know if Kim knows which cubicle she in. She said she's sticking it in the cubicle. Yeah, she started moving already. <laughs> I, I love her. <laughs> you don't want me there, okay? <laughs> yes, Eritrea. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no worries. No worries. <laughs> Okay, so that is how we allow Dragon to transcribe for us if ever okay. that situation arrives. Yes. Does Adria? anyone else have any questions? Yes, yes. Adria, before you go on, since our, some of our, um, our recordings, it's already pre-recorded on FCR, so can we pull up that audio and put Dragon to dictate? Yes. Yes. You can. Um, now, I'm, I'm not saying that it's going to be perfect, tremendously yes. accurate because right. it, it's going, it's not going to be as accurate as it is for you. You know, I find that while it can be done, it's just not as accurate. But Yes. Uh, if you do have a sore throat, you're having a problem with your voice, you can absolutely um, have Dragon transcribe it and perhaps it will do a good job. It really depends on who it's listening to. If the person right. that that is speaking is clear and concise, then you're not going to have a problem. It's going to do pretty well. Now, I noticed that it missed a lot of the beginning of sentences. Um, it, a lot of what was said, it did not write correctly. But it was playing and, you know, playing out of my sound card. And it was um, also doing the translation on the same computer. So it, it would have been maybe different if I had a desktop microphone connected and I could just play it and put the microphone near the speaker okay. so that it gets a really nice, clear, you know, um, audio. You want I the see. audio to be clear, no static on it. So as long as you can play the audio and it's nice and clear, you're going to get better results. Yes, maybe like a judge doing a summation, also as one person yes. speaking alone. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes, sure. Does anyone have any other? I have a questions? question. Yes, I have a question. Um, it may be a little out of context, but have you been advising the judiciary? Um, where audio recording is concerned um, because you're training us to dictate audio on a system as you said ftr is not something that transcriptionists and you all have usually use so the audio for instance that we were getting on real time it's very good audio very clear you're not getting all of the static and all of the different things that could be happening in a courtroom. But I don't know if you have offered any sort of advice to the judiciary where they can eliminate all of the static noise that become apparent because as a transcriptionist now, we have to deal with that. And as Amina said, the order is already pre-recorded years before, last week, 10 years ago. So there's nothing that can be done about that. But if they have some sort of information now so that they can work on it as it's happening so that 10 years from now, we wouldn't have to be dealing with the problems. That's very, very wise. And they have not asked me about that at all, 
but I would be more than happy to advise should they have um, questions for me. I don't use FDR Gold. I know that it's um, a program out of Australia. I know that it's an audio program. I know that you can adjust it. Um, unfortunately, it's like you said, Michelle, you know, there is nothing you can do with it after the fact once it's already recorded. You can try to clean it up, make it louder with some digital programs. I have um, a program called Audition that is for editing audio. And audition? I, audition, yes. A-U-D-I-T-I-O-N. But I am virtually certain that there are more, less expensive products than Audition. Audition's a subscription uh, with Photoshop with the Adobe company, but Adobe's applications are overpriced as a general rule. But you can often find um, programs that you can use to edit audio. And sometimes you can make it louder. Sometimes you can decrease the static. But I can't, I can't say that that's always going to work. If, sometimes if audio is too um, low, you can only make it so much louder. And if it's too loud with a lot of static, then you can bring it down and you can get rid of some of the static but it's rare to get rid of all of it. And so really it's very important that they get the recording done the right way the first time. Mm -hmm. And I certainly hope that they are focusing on that. I really, really hope. Maybe you could mention that to them, Adrian. I'd be more than happy to. I'd be more than happy to mention um, that. And I tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look for a less expensive audio uh, editing awesome. software and I will educate you on it next week. Oh, okay. That'd be great. I'll look um, for something that's a free tool or something that's very inexpensive. And Adria, I have a question as well. Um, I don't know if you would know, but what program are we using? What I'm saying, are we going to dictate on a word page? Are we going to be dictating in transcriptionists? Would that be available to us? Or I'm not sure. I know you trained us with the transcriptionist program. Yes. But when we actually go to do the job and if we should move forward, what are we dictating in? If, if you should know, I don't know. You are going to be dictating in transcriptionists. Okay, well, that, then I have a follow-up question. Um, where Michelle was able to get her FTR audio to pull, now she, she showed me how to do it, but I was having a lot of issues to go down to the end to actually find the OK button. It was a difficult process. It's not easily accessed. When It's easy to pull the audio into the transcriptionist, but when you actually have to go down to the end to find the OK button. It was a difficult process. I haven't been able to do it. Um, she keeps telling me, you know, just go down, go down. And it, it's just difficult. To, the mouse isn't moving on the um, audio because it comes up as um, like the whole file just comes up when you try to pull the FTR audio. I don't know if Michelle can explain it any further. Well, because of the amount of audio, um when it pulls over into transcriptionist, it becomes this really, really long list that goes way below the taskbar. It goes bar. beyond the taskbar, okay. Yeah. Yes. So what I, sometimes my mind will do that, but other times it will come up in a, a neat little box in the middle of the screen and the OK button will be easy for me to click. But there are a lot of times when the OK button is below the taskbar of the computer. So... I, what I tell her is just click, click, click the mouse, click the mouse down by the taskbar, and eventually it moves up. But she, I guess she has not been able to get it up so that she can access, the, you know, acquire the audio in transcription. I understand. I do understand. I had that same problem myself with a different application recently. And what I learned is that the tab key comes in handy. 
because if you stop using your mouse and you start hitting the tab key instead, it'll start moving to the available button so that you can hit OK. And you don't have to hit OK. Once it's on the button you want, you just hit Enter. And and that works. That's how I That's had great. to use it. You're here, Amina. All right, I'm hearing. Adria, I hope I could get to the button. It was getting to the button. That was the issue. No, but yes. getting to the OK Using button. The tab. If I yes, use the you, tab. Mm -hmm. you, just, you just use tab, the tab key. All right. And Sometimes you sort of have to guess if you're on it or on not. Actual, yeah. Yes. You know, if, if you're actually on the OK button. But once you get to the OK button, you just hit the Enter button. And oh. that's like the same as clicking on OK. Because I was also wondering if you, I, I we, what I try, I tried also to um, change the audio into MP3 file, but it wasn't working. It doesn't allow you to change the audio at all. So we had to pull it from FTR itself to so make okay. something easier to come to be able to acquire if we had an easier access to it, except for doing this process of, well, I'll try it with the tab and so on another day and um, see what happens and I'll let you know. Yes, please do, because when you click on acquire. And yes, pull the audio. Maybe I'll video it and probably try to send it to you sometime. That would be great. That would help yes. me to figure out if I yes. could resolve the problem. Yes. Thank you, but Adria. Yes. No problem. I, I have seen that before in other applications when the box gets really big. I have seen that. And it is inconvenient. Well, ladies. If there's no other questions, I am going to let you go about your evening, and we will meet uh, next week if you guys want to. We do not have to. And keep in mind that um, if you guys would like to just go ahead and, and work for a little while and have a class you know, later, we can do that. It's all up to you. Okay, that's great. Thank you. When when yeah. would we be getting our certificates? Oh. <laughs> well, actually, you're all done now. Yes. So I am going to be finalizing your certificates. It really depends on how busy I am tomorrow. But I'm going to be finalizing that tomorrow. And I'm going to also have... Oh, thank you, Juanita. Yes, I, I've received that. And... Um, I'm going to be making, I'm going to have my team make you all the hotkeys and I'm going to have a, um, we call them handies. And when I say handies, I mean that uh, it's step-by-step -step instructions on what to do while you're in transcriptionist. It even has pictures of the buttons you need a press and all of that. So right. that's, yeah, that's going to be part of your, um, what we call your handies. Then all of it is laminated and it's all on very colorful paper because anybody who works in the transcriptionist or court reporting industry has a mound of white paper on their desk usually. And so I like it to stand out. So we do it in colorful paper. And so I'm going to have all that done. And I'm going to get your certificates done. And I'm going to mail them all together. I hope to mail them out Friday. But I would say by the latest Tuesday, I'll mail them out. Any other questions? Yes, yes, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Would we be required to um, finalize and present anything? Or we could just practice it, just to ensure, you know, we have it, how we're supposed to, because the way you explained it today, it looks so much more easier than how we did it before. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I would encourage you all to just keep your practicing going. It's there's no stress now. It's it's done. 
you know, you've all achieved what I, you know, the goal that I set for you, which was far above um, the goals that I set for the judiciary. So all of you are looking very good because you have all exceeded the expectations that I created with the judiciary for you. Oh, that's so awesome. Because I was be now going to ask, what was the judiciary's expectations? But we have exceeded that, so that's great. You have. I, you know, I told them that I felt very, oh, look at those sweet babies. <laughs> Ayana, they are beautiful. Um, oh, I love the one with the little passy in her mouth. That is so sweet. <laughs> I had a daughter. She called it, she called it her noonie. Oh. And she, when I told her it was time to give it up, she started hiding them all over the house. <laughs> it took me two years to get rid of all those things. <laughs> um, Adria, um, yes. um, Michelle Sandy wanted to know there were names that you had put additional videos for some persons to complete. Um, she wanted to know if you, if everybody was updated and if everyone was okay, especially well, huh, Michelle Sandy? <laughs> yes, everybody is okay. Everybody has exceeded the expectations because remember, I told them that I knew I could accomplish in three months teaching you how to use transcriptionists and getting you dictating at 180 words per minute at 80 percent or better okay thank you every one of you every one of you has exceeded that and so i am just so proud of you all and i hope you're proud of yourselves as well very much so you did some hard work, and I sincerely hope that it pays off. We all do. We all do. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, ladies, I will. I will say good evening. Then <laughs> I will tell them to take all fifteen of you. Yes, because do, you please. all deserve. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, enjoy, enjoy and, evening. You have a great evening, ladies. God bless you all. You too. Bye, right, Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Thank you. I'm going to the story now. Bye, people.